It's about three weeks after the winter solstice. It's cold, and here in Scotland the days are brief and mostly pretty miserable. In short, it's not the best time of year for wee keen fly fishers. Yes, I know the closed season is already half done, but the opening day in March still seems a long way off. And let's face it, in these parts it's usually April until the fly fishing really kicks off. Still lots of winter to come. So what do we do in the meantime? Well, I found that a good brisk walk by the river on a cold, clear morning is a pretty good way to clear the head. It's good therapy. Let's call it river therapy. But before I get going on my short walk, I want to let you know that issue 2 of the free magazine Fish Wild has been published and can be downloaded from the website. You'll find more details in the description of this video. I hope you enjoy it. Now as you can see, I've started my walk where a wee river ends, where it vanishes into the sea. The river ends here, but it's where I started fishing 50 odd years ago. Every year, we as kids would be down here on the first Saturday after the 16th of February, the opening day for salmon and sea trout fishing in this area. Bait fishing and spinning, we rarely caught anything other than flounders and eels, but it was like waiting for them a long winter sleep and we loved it. During the school summer holidays we catch the last bus out from town and spend the entire night fishing here, catching the first bus home at 7am. Boy we were keen. I'm not sure I like to fish here now though, as well as the runs of sea trout collapsing, it's just too busy here these days. Not with anglers, but understandably it's a very popular area now for day trippers and dog walkers. Times change, and they have as much right as anyone else to be here enjoying these wonderful sands. Right, we have moved up the river a few miles, and those of you who watch my videos regularly might recognise some of the pools. Even allowing for the fact that I'm a pretty hopeless drone pilot, the height does give you a totally different perspective on this wee river. It's an important part of this course of river therapy to know I've got a lot of fish here. Not only since I started shooting these videos, but way back over many decades to when I was alive. The Beatles were singing Penny Lane when I took my first tentative fly fishing steps here. There is a deep connection with these places that simply can't be equal anywhere else, no matter how good the fishing might be. Oh man, this river therapy works. I'm feeling a lot better already. Let's move on upstream a few more miles and see how things are looking there. There now, that didn't take long. This is my favourite part of the river, and closest to home. Now is that just a coincidence? This is not just ordinary river therapy, it's a personalised treatment plan. Just above the San Martin colony now. It would be great to see them back in a month or two. The great thing about this stretch is it's so easy going, and that's not a bad thing when you're getting on a bit. Mm -hmm. 
It usually fishes best early on and can suffer a bit from the low water during the summer. But every run and pool here holds memories for me that stretch back over 50 years. And that is very special. It's not never will be world class trout fishing. It's not New Zealand. But it doesn't have to be though, and that's really the point. How lucky do you have to be to have this on your doorstep? Well that's about enough river therapy for me for one day. Thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoyed it. I'm not sure when the next video will be but I do have some good stuff planned for the coming season. So thanks again for watching and be sure to check out Fish Wild for some good therapy there as well. Bye for now.